So I'll be talking how to prevent pre-diabetes patients proceeding into the diabetes. So five cardinal rules has to be followed. Be active. So be, being active is one of the main modality of the prevention of development of diabetes. Make sure you walk minimum 30 minutes every day, at least five days a week. Minimum 150 minutes per week is advisable. Being active for the first modality. Second one is uh, if you're being overweight, reduce the weight. At least 5 to 6 percent of weight reduction reduce the development of diabetes by 58 percent. Next thing is eat healthy. So having food which contains low sugars in the form of vegetables, load, load yourself with a lot of vegetables, example broccoli, beans, carrot, etc. Apart from that, avoid fried food and processed food rather than you choose for the unprocessed food in the form of brown rice. Apart from that, roots and tubers should be avoided, alu, beetroot, all those things. Apart from that, you can go for sleep, keep sleep as a priority. If you don't sleep properly, weight reduction is a big issue. Next thing is visiting the doctor frequently to know the progression of your diabetes. I'll be talking about uh, diabetic emergencies. So what is diabetic emergency? Insulin being a main modality of the treatment in diabetes, insulin can cause either excess insulin causes high sugars cause diabetic coma or low sugars can cause insulin shock or hypoglycemia. So how to identify this sugars are gone low or sugars are gone very high. So if the patient develops hypoglycemia that is insulin shock, patient will start feeling palpitation that is heart running fast and apart from that patient will develop irritability, headache, giddiness, profuse sweating, all these things are symptoms of hypoglycemia. So what is the symptoms of hyperglycemia? If insulin dosage is insufficient, patient will start developing the symptoms of diabetic coma. Suddenly patient will start passing high increased urine and patient will start losing the consciousness. So we have to identify these complications very early to prevent the uh, catastrophic complications. So today I will be talking about what first aid we can do if the patient develops diabetic emergency of low sugars at home. So initially it is uh, Prime important to identify when the patient develops goes for hypoglycemia or insulin shock. So if the patient develops symptoms of hypoglycemia in the form of palpitations that is heart running fast, sweating and irritability, headache and slightly patient start feeling giddy. So you have to check the sugars at home with a glucometer. If your sugars are very low, below 70 milligrams per deciliter, start treating immediately by giving sugar containing solutions in the form of fruit juices or sugars, honey anything which is available, commonly available at home. So you can follow a simple rule of 15. So check the sugars, if your sugars are below 70 milligrams per deciliter, give 15 grams of carbohydrates, wait for 15 minutes, check the sugar after 15 minutes, if the sugars are still low, again you can give 15 grams of carbohydrates. So if the symptoms are not improving, better to beat the doctor. What do you mean by 15 grams of carbohydrates? It is equivalent to 5 sugar cubes or it can be 1 tablespoon of sugar or 1 tablespoon of honey.